is his hair. And I'm doing something a little bit different today. You know, he's still drawn and whatnot, but can't see my lovely face. You may hear a tiny little muse. I assure you it's just a little cat that sits behind me. This is such an interesting tool. I'll show you what it does. I think if you go down with it, it'll create the shadows on the side. If I go up with it, it's, it's weird. It's like this is looking down on it and this is looking up. It's strange. It's a mess. And if there's one thing I love in this world, it's, it's strong works. And this kind of makes the process a little simpler. Whereas totally not making it easier for me. I'm just going to sketch around a little bit with this first before I get into it. It kind of gives me a little bit of an idea. Look at that. It almost looks like it's something from Unreal Engine. <laughs> We've had those days where it's like, I'm wearing my coats and my jackets and all that, and then you just get to where you get to me. And I take up clothing stupid. <laughs> We're just going to screw with some colors. That was so interesting. I've never seen that. Wait. What does this do? You would think I would know, like, all the tools. I have no idea what tools. I don't know what they do. I don't know how they're used. And I guarantee you I will mess it up. It's a neat little, almost like a grass effect, I suppose. Hmm. I know you can't see the tool inside here. But it's, uh, it's a smudge type tool in Croya. Which is my main program. Oh, look at this weird thing. Let's see. I'm saying, I'm gonna do what I'm doing. Sometimes you just gotta feel it out a little bit. Ooh, that looks interesting. What happens if I make it bigger? It's a strange looking brush, huh? It's just like a space invader. <laughs> That's nifty, isn't it? Sometimes you just gotta, like, just feel brushes and just go with them. I haven't done this in quite a bit where I just screw up and you know, see what we get. Such a strange. That's good for like grass in the background or something. There's that you should learn your tools before you do the Oh, it's like, look, it smudges this way. Makes out that way. What? What's that? that? That's doing it. Is it the lighter I press? This is like a purpley one. It's like the light. This is really light pressing. And now this is dark pressing. Or heavy <laughs> dark pressing. Heavy pressing. You never know. You might discover a new tool or some new way of painting something down there. And I know what this one does. This makes... This is like a brightening brush. It's an airbrush that brightens. Look at that. It looks like a cloud. <laughs> Alright. We're going to stop snoring with that. Layer after layer. Just paint it on top of paint. Now, if you see something you don't like, like if I do that, you can control Z, which is the number one thing that digital has over a traditional, is at any point I can just boop. But you know, there is something to be said about traditional, how it feels. Okay, I get that. Yeah, you can just put a lot of water on That's what I end up doing. This one's a fun blur. Where it's still, it's a blur, but it like, gives it a texture. I used it for other things. It has a really nice texture, especially if you're trying to mimic like fur or fuzzy surface. It's kind of neat. Make it a little dark. Uh, something I can do, and I don't, I don't use this type of brush in a lot. It's the multiply. I'm trying not to erase. I can paint over, 
That's that's fine. But racing, it's not a race. If we can do this, not a race. Buy the cloud for a bit. I don't want to waste my time. It's all pretty rocks. I'm going to waste my time. It's all pretty rocks. It's dark so fast, though, man. I do tend to use words incorrectly. I apologize. You'll hear words that that's not the word for that or something like that. And it's like, no, you're fair. You're right. Probably use the wrong word for stuff. You can dig on this. There we go. Sometimes you do just make outlines of the rocks, you know. You do it like this and let the rocks just speak to you if you know what you're doing. I really don't know what that means. If you ever ask me what the heck do you mean by it, the rocks speak to you, I'd be like, I don't know. Sometimes you just feel it. It's like, all right, this line goes here, this line doesn't go here. You know, this is kind of what you're looking for, this is not what you need. Oh my god. Normally just kind of aloof. No. <laughs> kind of do what I feel in the moment. Yeah, sometimes there's a plan behind it. But a lot of times not. See, this seems too smudgy. I'm not really looking for smudgy. Uh, what are you? Weird. Seems like an odd texture, is it? Like, I know what it's making, but if you screw with it, it'll make something else. Because it's literally like... It makes that, but that's not what I'm after. But I like how it texturizes if you just kind of like lightly like use it. I can dig it. There we go. Now you may be saying, why don't you just mask it so you can make it easy? Uh, I mean, I think it. <laughs> you could always mask this. Like, if you have a base colored line, which is what I normally do, if you have like a, a basic background, it's best to like use that, like duplicate the layer using as a mask. That way it's easier to paint on top so you're not like accidentally going around the lines if that's not what your intention is. But I'm not doing that. This is actually probably going to take me a very long time. I was not really expecting it to take me that long. Then I was like, you know what, screw it. This might give us more sharper edges. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> that, ooh, look at that. Look at that weird kind of crisp line. Ooh, brush is crawling on me. 
I'm all like, what would I use that? And then it's like, you start using it, and you're like, oh, I see it, man. Yeah, it's starting to have its own merits. It's fine. Too much more. Because I could literally paint this rock like all day, I'm not gonna lie. It took me hours and hours and hours to do this rock. Okay, it's just the way I want it. Do I know what I'm trying to draw with this? Yes, absolutely, 100%. As soon as I got to a certain point, I was like, oh, that's what this is. Is this one for one what it looks like? Probably not. <laughs> that's the problem with a lot of my drawings, is a lot of it evolves over time, or change it later. Just can't keep my strength. There's some things that don't change, but there's a lot that end up changing. Decent. Well, I can just... Why not? Why can't I just add a screen layer? There we go. Look at that. Nifty. Gonna even things out. This is a bit too small. That's fine. This is a weird tool. It's a little too much. And it makes it kind of sparkle. <laughs> That's good for now. Probably come back to this. It's just, just rocks. <laughs> uh, hope you all have a great day and enjoy yourselves. Thank <laughs> you.